Top story tonight, a judge today ruled the Utah Attorney General's office must release a copy of Sean Reyes' work calendar to KSL. It is a victory for public transparency and the KSL investigators who first requested that schedule back in November of 2022. KSL investigator Daniela Rivera joined us live right now from the courthouse with what happens next. Daniela? Well, that's right. The judge said Utah's current law is clear that Sean Ray's work calendar is a record you have a right to see. It's a record we asked for more than a year ago. But despite the state records committee and now today a judge siding with the KSL investigators, Sean Ray's office still fighting to keep it secret. The attorney general's office has self-defined this as not personal. Not personal. In fact, public, according to Judge Patrick Corum. After hearing arguments from attorneys representing both AG Sean Reyes' office and the KSL investigators Monday, he ruled today that Reyes' work calendar is a record the public has a right to see. It's a huge victory for public accountability of elected officials. A victory attorney David Ryman says shouldn't have taken more than a year, a decision from the state records committee and a legal battle in third district court on the taxpayer's dime. It was unfortunate that he decided to fight this as long as he did, um, but the, the court saw through the arguments that they were making and it sided with the public. And a victory that could be short-lived as Utah's legislature makes a mad dash to pass Senate Bill 240, making all public and elected officials' calendars off limits. I think the public should be outraged about that and should continue to demand more transparency from their elected officials. It's disappointing uh, that any government official would want to hold from the public uh, what is rightfully public record. Um, but what has been our fight for 15 months is now a public fight. A public fight that still might not be over. Attorneys for Reyes were not present in court Tuesday, watching online instead as the judge ruled in favor of the public. In a statement released shortly after Reyes' office saying the judge got it wrong and they will appeal. What do these people have to hide? So what's next? The judge ordered the calendar to be released, but an appeal would definitely prolong this even more. We've asked the AG's office tonight how much taxpayer money has gone into fighting so far to keep this public record from the public. We'll let you know if they share that information, Mike. Yeah, a lot of people anxious to know that. All right, Daniela, thank you. And as you just reported there, Utah lawmakers are debating a bill making it crystal clear all elected officials' calendars are off limits going forward. Senate Bill 240 is a direct response to KSL's legal battle. Bill sponsor Kurt Bramble says the state records committee got it wrong when they decided with KSL last year and he doesn't want any more official schedules to be released in response to public records requests. The bill passed the Senate and now awaits consideration in the House.